So, hello. I am with Lakshmi. Yeah. Here. So, we are at the uh, RB ITM Confer- uh, Auditorium, and we have to present a paper in some time. So, we are excited. So, this is my first paper. It is going to be published, and thanks to Lakshmi. Yeah. Good seniors, I have. <laughs> So hi everyone, Nenad Sanamne here and welcome back to another video in this channel. So in this video, I'll be talking about how to publish a research paper in college and why should you do it. Uh, and I'll be giving you the steps like uh, how to publish a research paper. And I'll be also sharing my experience, how did my paper got accepted and it's going to be published soon. So those who don't know me, I'm Nenad Sanamne, a 21, a 20 year old uh, YouTuber, tra- uh, traveler and developer from Bangalore. So yeah, enough with introduction, so let's dive in. So I am in 6th year of college right now and I started writing my paper in somewhere around 4th sem that is 2nd year of college. My paper got ready in 2-3 months in 2nd year itself but uh, like I was searching for conferences so I got some IEEE conference I submitted my paper there but they didn't really accept uh, my paper because my paper was more of a concept paper and they are looking for implementation paper. So I waited for a while and then I got this conference called as Tiger where I submitted and luckily they accepted my paper. So for that reason, the, so the conference was organized by a college called BMNIT here in Bangalore. So they called me to the college where we had to present our paper. So I presented my paper and they were also a best paper award, which I didn't really get. So I know what mistake did I do and now I know what is a quality paper. So now again I'm writing a paper with a professor and my friend, you know that Ajit guy, yeah with him. So yeah, I'll be putting this paper, I, that paper will be ready by in one month or so and then I'll be, we'll be putting it in a very good conferences like with good reputation, that, that is very important guys. And one more thing, so why did I write a research paper? Because I am considering for masters next year because uh, a lot of reasons, I'll talk about that in some other video. So uh, yeah, going for masters, if you're going for masters, uh, having a research paper gives a extra value and an upper hand in your profile. So that's the reason I I wrote I wrote a research paper, and and I'll be putting my entire journey of masters in this channel. So do watch it. So and like, tell me what kind of videos do you want. So I'll be making that kind of videos. So yeah, that's it. And uh, that my why was clear. That why was a writing. So this brings to our point. Why should you write a research paper? And what what should be your why? So first reason is uh, it, it it adds value when you're going for masters. As I told you for the same reason as mine. I am writing the paper because I want to go for masters so they'll, uh, they'll, it will add weight to my profile because I have written some paper, I have done some research work that makes me serious into the field which I am applying for so that's very important. Second reason is people who are going to switch their fields. So it also applies in my case because I am from electrical, electrical, uh, what was? Yeah, my course. Yeah, electrical and electronics engineering. But I am shifting in computer science because I do code, coding and stuff. You must be knowing. So yeah, now I need to shift my uh, majors. So for that reason, I need to write a research paper because when uh, people will, when, uh, when applicants or recruiters or anyone will see my profile, if they if they see that I am really interested into computer science because I have produced some research work in that domain. It makes me really uh, serious about the domain and that that uh, tells a lot that this guy wants to seriously work in the domain and is interested. So these two reasons are very important and the third reason is if you want to really contribute to the society, if you feel like there's a problem and you want to really work on it, do write a paper. I'm, I'm not kidding. So yeah, we, we see like a lot of problems. If you see some basic problem in blockchain in let's say a consensus mechanism and you think you can improve this mechanism by doing so and so if you genuinely want to improve it go ahead and write uh, write a paper you will contribute a lot and the fourth reason i see people writing this paper is if they want to go in rnd rnd jobs because if you if you want to work as a professor in ic or let's say drdo or somewhere in research domains like big, because in even in big big companies as a, a dedicated team in R&D, like R&D department, like any any big company you name, Apple or Amazon. Actually, I have a friend who works in Amazon as a in R&D team, and he earns a lot. Trust me. So, if you want to work in R&D, obviously you should have a research and development experience. That is writing research papers. Okay. So steps of steps of writing a research paper. 
So there are not any fixed steps of writing a research paper. It may depend person to person or professor to professor. But I'll tell you the steps which I personally did and whatever my professors and uh, my seniors recommended. So the first is going like finding a topic. Obviously, that's the first step. So go ahead, find a topic like uh, whatever you are genuinely interested in. I was in blockchain. Something else can be for you. So if you don't have any idea or topic in mind, you can go on your college website and go on the faculty section and see what your professors are working on. And you can only directly approach and ask for a project. That might be also an option. Third is going with the trend, trending things. Trending things like uh, nowadays uh, large language models or deep gans. Just general adversarial networks is trending, like chat GPT and everything. So you can uh, work on that, and you can produce a paper. Fourth is uh, if you are genuinely willing to solve a problem. If I, I am using an ML model in my code, and I want to increase the efficiency or something like that. So and and also I want to go in the specifics or depth of the model. So I can go ahead, I can go and do that, and because it will involve a lot of maths, I can go and do that and produce a paper. So basically, the first point was finding a topic and the research objective. Research objective is nothing but what are you trying to achieve in this research. So uh, it can be like increasing the efficiency or proposing the model or compar comparison or review paper. Like what are you trying to do? This is the first step. Second step is uh, doing some background background homework. So background homework is basically if you know what your topic is, go ahead and go on the internet and try to find base papers or something you know re relevant to your topic papers because. Those papers you'll be using as a, in a reference section of your paper, and you can get insights, and you can, you'll know how this how this uh, model or how this uh, concept works, and you can uh, also use those concepts in your paper, obviously by giving references. So you can go on IEEE and Springer and do that. But the problem with that is IEEE and Springer, you need to pay some money, or you should have that access. So I have a trick. So I'll be showing you. Just see. This so hi, I'll be telling you how to download our research papers for free. So just go and first point the site to search papers. Google.scholar.com. This is my account, and then if I go here, on, so I can search any kind of paper here. So why the site? Because Google Scholar site because there are different different journals like IEEE, Springer, and this site. If you search on the site, it will check in all the sites and give you the best feedback. And if I go on IEEE Explore, and then Springer, then it will take a lot of time because there's a lot of good journals so I'll just search here and that's it so if i add blockchain for prevention then i'll get all the good papers here so now this is how you can see paper and this is i triple paper here so it will search from each and every journal and then give you this is again from i triple yeah this is from springer i think i got what i'm trying to learn now how to download it so there's a website so first you need to select this link control c and then go on this website sign don't tell this to anyone oh my internet is not working come on come on what it works Yeah, just just put the link, check off it from here, and then just open it, and then bam, you have the paper. So yeah, that's how you download a research paper for free. Bye. So after finding a uh, base paper, you can also go on internet, find some articles, and uh, go on some YouTube videos and understand the topic thoroughly. So that is the second point. Third point is creating an outline. So after going through so many base papers and resources, you must be having idea in your mind how your paper might look like, what section may it contain. So again, again, uh, this may depend uh, paper to paper or uh, person to person and topic to topic because some uh, some papers might require more tables and stuff, but some uh, papers might require pseudo code and algorithms. So again, it depends on person to person. But I'll show you how a basic structure or outline looks like in a research paper. So this is a basic outline of a research paper. So after that. Uh, you can start writing the paper. So that is the uh, that is the fourth point. You can start writing your paper. So starting writing your paper uh, is basically contains lo uh, it's a lot of feedback taking process. And because you need to continuously take feedback from your professors and by other uh, by your colleagues and uh, by your co-authors. So keep taking feedbacks and uh, try to continuously improve uh, your paper. So after that, the fifth point is finding journals. 
Finding journal is a very important uh, topic because uh, point because you need to find journals that aligns your topic and align and you, you have to also see the reputation of journal because some journals like IEEE Springer have very good international reputation and some might not. So you need to find a perfect journal for your for your use case and I'll also link a uh, link in the description where you can get updates of conferences uh, of happening all over the world. So you can go in and check that. And yeah, that's it. Find a journal. And uh, one more thing, guys. Uh, each and every journal might require different different uh, formats. Like IEEE has different formats, Springer has different formats, and other journals might be having different formats. So you need to arrange your paper according according to that. So they'll be putting everything in the brochure. Just go ahead and check that. So after uh, finding a journal, you can submit your paper. So before submitting a paper, show it to your professors. Uh, do a plagiarism check. So your professor must be, must be having a professional uh, plagiarism checker, academic uh, plagiarism checker. So uh, you'll find a plagiarism. Ideally, it must be less than 10%. I don't know about it. Again, it depends on journal to journal. journal. So yeah, and finally, uh, spelling mistakes or any mistakes that, uh, that might be there in your paper. And if you think everything is like good, submit your paper. Submit your paper. You you need to email them most most mostly. You have to email your paper, uh, and after that, wait for some time. Uh, two three weeks. You might need to have to wait, and after that, you'll receive a notification of acceptance or rejection. Or they might also tell you to wait and suggest some changes in your paper. So you need to go ahead and make the changes and submit again. So that might might be the process. So if you are getting rejected, ask the reason. That's very important. Go ahead ask the reason why you were rejected, so that you can improve on the next time. So and my last point is, after you get paper getting published, congratulations! And now you may put on post on LinkedIn and write a blog. And congratulations! So that was steps of writing a research paper. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And give your give your subscribe like like my video and uh, subscribe to my channel if you love the content. And suggest me what kind of content I can make more. And I'll be more than happy to make videos. Uh, Let's do all this stuff. So, bye, bye, guys.